tonight. It is a magnificent chess game that is being played here. Oh, trouble. trouble. Ricky Rudd slamming toward the wall. Flashing, rolling over, side over side. Ricky Rudd, Ford Automobile, out of control, side over side several times, lands in the grass just at the top of Pitt Road, the Budmore car destroyed. You're watching live from the Daytona International Speedway, the Bush Clash of 84, the most serious crash in the six-year history of this event has just taken place. Naturally, caution is out, field has been slowed. And these caution laps do not count in this race, Ken. It's only green flag laps of 20 laps. It looked like, as they came off of turn four, that Jody Ridley's car and Ricky's might have touched. They came awfully close. Let's take a look at it. All right, replay on this incident coming out of turn four. Ned Jerry. Here is Ridley on the inside. Uh, he might have touched him, but sometimes, because of the compression of the air, here you see Rudd's car turning back the wrong way as, the, as it slid. The air got under it, flipped it back the wrong way. I think that it was a blessing that it didn't get into that wall, Ken. It started spinning away from him, just like a bucking horse, going in every kind of a direction. And, of course, Ricky holding on. Ricky Rudd, former Grand National Rookie of the Year. Last year, he won three straight pole positions. He was on the pole here at Daytona, then on to Richmond, Virginia, and Rockingham. Ricky Rudd's car has been destroyed in his first effort for the Budmore team. Very unfortunate situation. I, I was about to say, as the cars were coming off of there, it was hard to tell if they actually touched or not. But sometimes the compression of the air, they get within a foot of each other, that it it uh, has the same effect as the cars touching and they're almost out of control as they come out of the turns anyway and it doesn't take much to send it in a spin let's get the analysis of richard petty richard you take a look at it and tell us what you see well i tell you what uh, what i seen it looked to me like that uh, the car just got loose coming off the corner up there there's a big bump and uh, if you don't land just exactly right uh, i think i made a comment before richie richie's car looked a little loose to me and he's he's up a little bit higher if you notice he's up pretty high coming off that corner now if riddle hit him i don't know he could have touched him right there because all he had to do was just get a little sideways but it looks like it the car just got a little sideways and just uh the cars running that close together even if you don't touch them the wind acts like you hit each other and uh all i had to do was break the car loose and then when these cars get sideways they're bad about doing just what you see here uh it just looks like it's a lot more moving around. Ricky, I think, is real lucky because the car didn't hit anything solid. He was lucky that it went away from the wall there instead of hitting the wall, and it uh, looks like he's going to be okay.